Hey everyone, Proto here, and I'm bringing you the last episode of my Destiny beta weapon and armor talks by talking about exotic weapons versus legendary weapons. So in the last four episodes, I talked about legendary primaries, secondaries, heavy weapons, and armor. So I want to finish this off by talking about the difference between the exotic weapons and one piece of armor versus the legendary weapons and armor. So if you remember from the last episode, the legendary weapons had a basic formula and the formula was kind of like you have your type of damage that you start off with followed by the type of sight that you will have in case of secondary shotguns you had different types of rounds then you have a power up you have an upgrade for damage and then you have another choice where you get to select different magazines or different rounds in case of primaries and then the last column would be another potential power up followed by again an upgrade that would lock in all previous choices the, legend the exotic weapons kind of have the exact same formula, but instead of a power-up that's just random, you have at least one random power-up, and your second power-up will be a set power-up. So I'm going to show you what some of those are. For the armor, uh, the armor has a set power-up as well. I can't really go into detail what the set power-up will be, but it will have some relevance to the name as you'll see in the examples I'm going to show you. So, again, for the legendary armor that I'm going to show you, you're not going to have that much to go and base your decision off of. But another detail I want to tell you about is that legendary weapons and armor, you can have as many of them equipped as you want. However, when it comes to exotic weapons and exotic armor, you can only have one of each. So you can have, <coughs> excuse me, you can have one of each. So you can have one exotic weapon and one exotic armor. But you can't have two pieces of exotic armor or two exotic weapons like a primary, a secondary, or a primary heavy, a secondary heavy, and so on and so forth. So if you remember from the previous episode when I was talking about legendary armor, when you were looking at the armor type for the gauntlet specifically, what you saw was that it had the base that you have, they'll tell you what type of armor it had or whatever. And then the preceding columns after that would each give you a certain upgrade. And there was a total of four preceding upgrades. However, in the case for the exotic armor, what you get is you get your base However, if you re look at the picture that I'm about to show you now, you'll see that the picture has two uh, upgrades for the first column and then five preceding it. So as you can see, the exotic armor is clearly better than the legendary armor. And since I don't have much detail over this armor that I'm showing you, I can't really tell you whether or not there's a specific upgrade that makes it different from other exotic armors or if it's just that it gets that extra upgrade slot. I'm not sure because, you know, we don't have much detail. As you can see, it's a pretty plain picture. Now that I quickly got legendary ar exotic armor, sorry, out of the way, let's move on to exotic weapons. So the first exotic weapon I'm going to show you, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to see that it also has the exact same amount of upgrades as other legendary weapons that I showed you before. However, I'm going to talk about a specific upgrade slot for each of them. In this case, since it's exotic weapons so far that I've seen that they've shown, it's going to be the second last column, so your second upgrade column. So let's get right into it. The first exotic weapon we have is the Pocket Infinity. And the Pocket Infinity is special because its upgrade is what happened. It's called Pocket Infinity as well. So tech, most of them that you'll see will have the exact same name as the weapon's name itself. Others will be a bit different or will have some to relate to the weapon's name. Anyway, Pocket Infinity, what it does is it it's a fusion rifle and it starts to fire in automatic mode. It still keeps the five rounds as far as I can see since we haven't actually tested out the upgrade we can't see if you get more bullets however what happens is bullets that miss have a chance to go directly back to the magazine instead of just losing them they'll go directly back to the magazine I don't know if this takes ammo from your reserve or not but comes right back to the magazine now my complication with the pocket infinity is that since we don't have enough detail about it we don't know how the fusion rifles rounds are actually going to look like because the fusion rifle if you actually remember what you have to do is you have to charge it and then when it shoots a bunch of little bullets will come out and it'll hit your target and if you get all of them generally it's going to be a one hit kill in pvp at least and most enemies at least the fodder enemy will die also in one hit so do all those bullets become separate or do they all stay the same when they're in fully auto mode we'll see if you actually when the web game actually comes out and you see the weapon itself if you look at the magazine the magazine number should change if it does follow that rule which i'm talking about where it gets extra bullets and each bullet that was in one charge or separate you should have about 30 to 35 rounds give or take 
And since it's an exotic weapon, it'll st still be doing its damage, and every bullet that misses has a chance to go direct to the magazine, so. It'll be like an LMG secondary, I guess you can say. Now the next weapon is also secondary, and this one's called Patience and Time. It used to be called Closing Time, and it's a sniper rifle. So what its special ability is, is that when you zoom, when you start aiming down the sights, you go invisible. So I'm guessing hunters would really like this because hunters do have an ability in their subclass once you hit level 15 where you can actually start gaining invisibility based off certain hits. I didn't really look too much into it, but I remember reading that you'd be able to gain invisibility for a short time after doing a certain attack. So pair that up with patience and time where you can get the invisibility just based off of the zoom. You can be invisible for a long time. So on to the final and my favorite of the three, we have a primary weapon, pulse rifle which is called Bad Juju. Its special ability is called String of Curses and what it does is your reload time becomes instant and on top of you having instant reload speed, after every kill, you gain additional damage. I don't really want to go too much in detail about it because I don't know it's any specifics about it. Also, if you can tell, it has interchangeable types of damage. So if you look, if you look at the first column, you'll see that it has a void squirrel and it has another one that's three straight lines. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm guessing it does a different type of damage, which would be pretty cool that you can change based on your enemies in case enemies have elemental resistance. So that's all I have for exotic weapons versus legendary weapons. And I will be talking more about the weapons when the game actually comes out and I can start farming them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys later.